Welcome, a little instructional video here for doing some practice problems for multiplying and dividing rational expressions. Okay, when I look at this guy here, I'm thinking, hey, number one, this is a multiplying problem. So that means big fraction bar. So this is one big fraction bar. These guys on top are being multiplied. These guys on the bottom are being multiplied. So basically, what I really want to do is reduce this uh, fraction. That means I'm going to factor and then cross cancel if possible. So m minus 2, that's prime. 21m squared minus 70m looks like 7 is common to those guys and m is common to those variables. So we get 7m uh, times 3m minus 10. I multiply back to check my factoring. 21m squared, that checks. And then negative 70 times m, that checks. I do the same thing for these two guys in the denominator. So 18m minus 60 looks like 6 is common, so I take 6 out, that leaves 3m minus 10. I multiply back to check, that's 18m, that's negative 60, check. This here is a quadratic, or looks like a quadratic, pair of binomials. This says the signs are the same, the negative in the middle term says they're both negatives. Factors of 18, that's sum to make 11, 2 and 9. So negative 2 times negative 9 is positive 18, that checks. And then negative 2 added negative 9 is negative 11, that checks, so... We've got good factoring going on. Now we're factored into primes. All we have to do is cross cancel, if we can. Well, notice m minus 2 is common to both. Boom, so those cancel out. And 3m minus 10 is common to both. So those cancel out. So notice all that's left here is 7m. Let me pick a different color. All that's left here is 7m. And then down here is 6, which is 2 times 3, times the binomial m minus 9. And so, hey, 7, 2 times 3, this is prime, m minus 9, and m, nothing common between the numerator and denominator. So I just put those guys together. 7m over 6 times m minus 9, there's my simplified, that means reduced, answer. Boom. Notice, anytime we work with rational expressions, factoring is the key. The fact that you can do all this factoring correctly and efficiently, that makes all the difference in the world. If you can't factor, I don't know how you're going to do this problem. You're pretty much screwed. Sorry. Okay, next problem. Division problem. Now, what's division mean? Division means we're multiplying by the reciprocal. So we're going to take this guy here. When I'm going to factor, I'm going to write, basically, this is going to be a big fraction bar. And numerator, denominator. But then here, these guys get switched. So this guy's in the numerator. And 6p minus 30 is in the denominator. So let's do the factoring. So 4p squared minus 20p. So it looks like 4p is common. That leaves p minus 5. I multiply back. That's 4p squared. That checks. That's negative 20p. That checks. And p minus 5 is prime. So I factored it completely. 2 times p. That's pretty much factored. It's 2 times p. And then 36p squared. Notice that goes in the numerator. Now, that's 6 times 6 times p times p. Or you could say 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 times p times p. And then 6p minus 30, 6 is common, so that gives me 6 times p minus 5. I multiply back, 6 times p is 6p, that checks. 6 times negative 5 is negative 30, that checks. All my factoring is done. And what do you notice here? I notice the p minus 5s cancel out. I notice p here, the two p's cancel out. 4 divided by 2, that leaves 2 in the numerator. And then 6 times p minus 5, well, the p minus 5 is canceled out. But these two guys have 6 in common. So this down here is 6 times 1. This up here is 6 times 6. So when the 6 is cross cancel, we get 6 over 1. So 6 here, 1 down there. Bam. And notice we're done. The only things that aren't canceled out are a 2, a 6, a p squared, and then a 1 in the denominator. Uh, by the way, there's 1 down here when those guys cancel. So it's like, well, anything over 1 is that thing. So how about 2 times 6 is 12 times p squared. Bam. Again, for division, the only trick, and it's not really a trick, it's just understanding division from 5th or 6th grade. It's like dividing by any numbers the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So rewrite this as a multiplication problem. And I did the factoring when I rewrote it. So I did kind of two things at once. Factored as I rewrote. And then it's just like the multiplying, pro multiplying problem. Just cross-cancel where you can, whatever's left, that's your answer. Okay, I hope you found the video useful. Good luck. Keep pressing on, man.